In this video, you will see how to exploit WebView if the developer didn't filter user's input. Android WebView is a system component for the Android operating system that allows Android applications to display content from the web directly inside an application. In Diva application, go to Input Validation Issues Part 2. You will find here that the application is requesting a website URL to display it from the internet. By embedding web view inside applications may turn risky if not properly filtered, since several browsers have the capability of running multiple URI schema like FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, and file. By taking this advantage, an attacker can exploit web view and can use it to view the contents within the local storage using the file URI schema. If you tried here for example to open google.com, you will find that this application will use WebView to display the content from Google. You can say that WebView is a browser bundled inside a mobile application producing what is called a hybrid app. Using a WebView allows mobile applications to be built using web technologies such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and other technologies. It seems that the internet is very slow here. Let's go back and try another website. Okay, let's try Udemy for example. I will give it some time to load the website. Here we go. The application was able to display Udemy website using WebView component. Now our objective here is to exploit this web view and read sensitive information from the Android operating system. Let's go to Santoku operating system, open the terminal by pressing Alt, Control and T, ADB devices to check if we are connected to the device or not, ADB shell to go inside the Android operating system shell. If the command stopped working like this, I advise you to disconnect from the device and reconnect again. Just type adb disconnect and the device IP address. Now connect again using adb connect, then type adb shell. Here we go. We are inside the Android shell right now. I created a file called zbug.txt that contains some secrets inside the mnt directory to show you how to exploit WebView. I will try to read the sensitive information inside zbug.txt from the application using file URI schema. All that you need to do is to type file colon slash slash then the file path which is slash mnt slash the file name which is zbug.txt After pressing view you will find that I was able to view the content of the file which is webview vulnerability. The big risk comes when someone is going to use the device as MDM solution where user is only allowed to use a fixed application without accessing to any other location. For example a tablet used as a ticket kiosk where a single application turns up for ticketing. Here you cannot even go to the home of the device. And this was all about WebView vulnerabilities. 